hey guys welcome back to another brand new video and i have reached finally i have reached nether and i have located the nether fortress i once came here before uh, building the staircase and entered here but uh, unfortunately i died but now we will be starting our adventure again and here was the place where i died by two blazes so let us just collect everything and put it in a chest that i already had here so one thing that you must have in nether is bow and arrow as you can see i can shoot blaze or ghost without even getting in their range or without getting too close where i cannot define myself as you can see here uh, my bow wasn't quite working so i try to go ahead and kill it in uh, you can say one v one then here you can see these flowers and i found a skeleton here uh, i killed the skeleton and mined the flowers i don't know what these called uh, i'm not sure about the name and then i collected that soul seed so i will uh, create a farm there now here i am again uh, killing a blaze once again so i accidentally had bow in my hand but it worked so i thought let us give a try here you can see me attacking it again so if you use a diamond sword it will take at least three hits or at max five to six hits as per i have played right now so this is a chest uh, that i saw and i think i should get the horse armor which basically which i basically think pretty useless nobody uses these uh, until and unless you are going too far which in case don't don't uh, a lot of people don't go so as you can see here i underestimated these and uh, there were two of them and uh, one one came from back and there in total there are four of them and i killed only one so in here i just uh, i don't know where the path was so i died here now i respawned again and came back with the axe can you see can you see there i came back with the axe to the nether because i know i had a chest in the front where i will get to so here you can see i have a stone sword that i get from weather skeleton and uh, now it's time to kill this skeleton so this skeleton basically give a effect first your hearts are red and as you can see here this blaze came out of nowhere uh, fortunately he didn't saw me so he was cold not attacking so i just got out lucky me then now it's time to get back to our loot i think so but before that uh, i somehow got here in this situation here you can see baby pigling and he just stopped for a setting second and i have one heart left as you can see now i am going to pick up all my loot and everything so let's go pick up everything and here are the blaze rods blaze rods are the most important thing for which i came here then i thought why not uh, craft uh, torches so i crafted some torches looted all these boxes got swords iron so in total i got three diamond and uh, some iron iron swords here you can see one more blaze that's attacking me but now i know if you are in a corner you can easily kill them with bows and arrows i killed one more blaze and then here's the i don't know fifth sixth seventh eighth or x no, x number of blaze one more blaze one more blaze so here you can see this fire spirit uh, it's just like uh, the uh, sling or slong that we get in caves I, uh, I don't know what's the name but i just went up i thought uh, maybe we can go up but there's two blaze and uh, there are more in the air which i can't afford so here a skeleton hit me which i basically don't know how he did that i was uh, unaware and then i when i thought i was healing i should heal a blaze came in fortunately he was cold but the second one that came i didn't give him time to attack me and i killed him now there's a third one in this thing so 
I just went back to a place and dug onto the wall and created a safe place, healed there and then opened the wall again. Here you can see I am killing all these uh, blazes and right now if you can see uh, I am back into the place uh, where I died and here is one more blaze and I'm to be honest I am getting a lot of blaze rods. These piglings, uh, if you can see, these are my favorite creatures in the netherlands because they don't attack you unless you attack them, which is quite interesting. But they do attack you, every one of them will attack you if you attack one. So there's one thing to remind. Now, at this time I was like, I had only five arrows and I can't um, play it more. So I decided to leave right now because I had eight blazes, which was our main goal. Then I have 9, but in the meantime, a lot of other blazes started to attack me. They were on the exit point. Here you can see I did kill this one. And then in the end, I was like, either I can run or I can hide like always. So I decided to fight the last one. I killed all, not all. I killed the one blaze that was in path. As you can see, I have to kill this. So he came to me and I killed him and then i was like run for your life so i run 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 then i was attacked as you can see there is a blaze uh, in the air right of my escape point so i tried to go there and i was attacked if you can see maybe i skipped that part but then i thought let's just go and here we are back into the overworld